I wish I could just see him now, walking, coming. Mm. His son does miss him. His son missing him already. Is it your son? I didn't know how to break the news then, but I had was too. 36-year-old Kareem Celestin, a fisherman from Ikakas, was preparing to make his daily living when his life was tragically taken. They say it's a boat that come up on the, on the beach. A boat just come up, they know if it's Spanish, they know if it's English. They just come up and they start to shoot. His mother Kathleen Holder recalled the last moments she spent with her son a few hours before he died. Up to yesterday I saw him. I cooked soup and I gave him a bowl of soup. He eat it. Well, we leave and we went on the beach to drop it for him because he was there. And then after we leave and we come home, that was about five o'clock. Yes, we leave and we come back home. And then he come after he done on the beach, he come home, he bathed about seven o'clock and he gone back on the road. And that was it. Ms. Holder described her son as a pleasant person who simply loved fishing. He loved fishing. He's a friendly person. He have no enemy. He talk and laugh with everybody. One of the other fatal victims has been identified as 21-year-old Joshua Sadu, a fisherman from Point Fortin, while the third man is yet to be identified. Three Venezuelan nationals, a 45-year-old man, a 24-year-old woman and 15-year-old girl were taken to hospital for treatment for gunshot wounds.